Tell me about the helicopter control algorithm. So uh, for our project, um, we implemented an evolving altitude controller. And what it is is that it it's a neural network, and it's an implementation of a genetic algorithm on that network. And it evolves a certain fitness function that wants it to hover, to get to this height and hover there as long as possible within a 10-second frame. And, and you constrained it to one-dimensional because otherwise the control scheme was just too crazy to evolve. Correct, and it's also really hard to find a helicopter because we would need a lot more phototransistors. So the, photo tra the little black phototransistors down there are, are, are doing the uh, distance measurement. Correct, and okay. there's a small IR LED over here that transmits to those phototransistors. Okay. And then we have our command module here, which is actually sending throttle yaw pitch commands to this helicopter. So the so the you, you replace the transmitter with the microcontroller, which is over here on the green board. Correct. Uh, going off to the infrared. Yeah. So we used the remote, and then we decoded the signals that come out of, came okay. out of it, and then we built our own command module. So first we're going to see a, uh, a very lightly trained neural net, and we're not seeing the training right now because of battery life limitations. Correct. It takes a very long time to right. recharge. Okay, so show me the lightly trained version now. So what, what's going to happen is it's going to do all three at once. It's going to do okay. the lightly trained, and then it'll do the medium trained, and then it'll do the well trained. So it'll go up and hover, and then it'll come back down. Seconds, okay. come back down, okay. yeah. Go ahead. Cool.